Previously on Phoenix Wright. Hold it right there. Yes, Gumshoe! Gumshoe, save me! Now there's more. October 20th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. All right, this is our final chance, guys. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who is presented to the studio to... What? Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trial... Trial? You were... <laughs> Jesus. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Mm -hmm. I just like needless banter. If you must pontificate. Pontific- Jesus, that's a big word. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. Alright, day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the... We took a... F Jesus. At 12... Jesus Christ! What's wrong with my brain? At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. With what that monkey's head toppling over. Van! I... I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! Nice. Okay. Pressing everything. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> the meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. C come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> I love, I love this. I love this. Okay. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? 
No. The meeting... <laughs> the meeting ended at 4, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Salty. Hold on! You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15 minute break. <laughs> okay. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Um, can we look at our evidence? Death at 2.30. Let's present the steak! Presenting the steak! In 3, 2, 1... Ha! Huh. As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. W what is this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Ms. Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You ate- <laughs> You ate the bone too! No, you didn't eat the steak. I thought Sal said that, you know, he ate it. Yeah, you didn't eat it, come on. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. <laughs> I... I see. Then what was Ms. Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Sal? <laughs> meeting the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai, and then you did it. You killed him with your own hands! <laughs> oh shit. M Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Mm-hmm. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Oh, shoot. Let's look at the court record. Isn't it, um... Here's to the chest of my sphere. Um, I guess she could. I don't know. I think you could. Maybe. It's not impossible. 
Well, maybe it's not impossible, but silence. I'm speaking. <laughs> the victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes? I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now, the steel samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight. Not to mention there is proof I did not have the spear. A photograph of the steel samurai shows that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrested it away from him? Y wrestled, sorry. I didn't read that right. Y yeah, take that right. If you still think she did it, show us proof. Um, uh... Hey, Nick? Look at the data we have on that samurai spear in the court record. Isn't there something in there that gets to you? Something odd- something odd about the samurai spear? Wait! Something the matter, Mr. Wright? S sorry, Your Honor. I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well. I won't hold you to your claim. But I'm afraid I will have to penalize you. Oh, jeez. Ugh. What's this? You're taking back your claim? Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used a samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Okay. Um, there's a- there's a break in the spear. Oh! It could it could have been the fence. It could have been the fence. Um. Okay. Um. Should we present the spear or the photograph? I don't know. Let's try the spear first. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. But but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that the spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? O order Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your... Silence! I am the one testifying here, and I will be heard. <laughs> Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you! I can tell you! Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon then. Okay, I think it was the fence. So... Look at this photo. Wh what is this? Why... Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Yeah! Yeah! O order! Order! If I cannot have order, then this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? Are you saying? Yeah. What happened five years ago? Oh, dang! <laughs> Has happened again! Oh my gosh, Mr. Wright, continue! It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jackhammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. 
I in other words, th the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny you deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Dak Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? It wasn't enough time. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? She had another way? Bet she could move it, she couldn't deal with it. I don't know. What was that too? That was before. That was before the incident. She had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands. For instance, actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. I interesting. Let's hear it then, Mr. Wright. Please show us how she carried the body. Um, maybe she took the van. That was the getaway vehicle. Ms. Vasquez. You carry the body to Studio One, and you use the studio van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You use the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection! Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manello that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manello was a conspirator? Um... No. Of course he wasn't. Ha! Huh. So, without Mr. Manello noticing anything, she put the body in the van, then managed to put the body into the costume? Are you seriously suggesting that is possible? Of course I'm not serious. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> I was kidding. To, uh, lighten up the proceedings. With light- Lighten! Y you can't lighten up a murder! Mr. Wright, the court requested you refrain from making claims in jest. Yes, your honor. Of course Salmonella has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Ms. Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. He probably burned it in the small incinerator. Well, Ms. Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Um, so what happens next? Hmm. <laughs> Don't, hmm, me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that. I just said that. Wait, so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you? 
You killed Jack Hammer. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle with wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order, Mr. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Oh, uh, huh. Mm. Uh, of course it is, as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. <laughs> Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? Uh, testify again. I- I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn! To come so far only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Whoa! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. <laughs> I see. Very well. Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again! You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just wanted to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Yo, Edgeworth! Are you coming in clutch? Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vas- Miss- Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mmm, well, yes, um... Indeed, verily, I say. Ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Mmm. Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But... But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth... Yo! Thank you! Edgeworth saved us!